Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Mjengo Ha video and today we are going to talk about the Nairobi River Regeneration Project which is a very ambitious project with very high stakes because for a long time Nairobi River has been a source of embarrassment for the city and a major health concern for the residents. So we are going to see where they are with the cleanup process and the infrastructure that is coming along with it and also talk about the technical perspectives of what they are trying to achieve. If you are new to the channel, my name is Fabian and I'm a practicing civil engineer and we created Mjengo Hub so that we can provide updates on such critical infrastructure, showcase construction products and technologies and also make some noise on road safety which we are very passionate about. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and let's go! Nairobi is normally referred to as the land of cool waters because of the many rivers that run through the county. These rivers, including the Ngong, Madare, and the Nairobi River itself, form the critical Nairobi River's basin, which is an ecosystem that is the city's lifeblood. The Nairobi River winds its way from the western highlands of Kikuyu, Dagoreti, and Mountain View, cutting through the heart of the city near the central business district and flowing eastward past neighborhoods such as Karyoko, Isli, Ruaraka, and Dandora. Along its course, it encounters a striking cross-section of Nairobi's urban life, from leafy suburbs to crowded industrial zones and densely populated settlements. For decades, the Nairobi River has been a casualty of urban expansion, pollution and neglect. In some sections, it was declared biologically dead. But right now, that story is changing. The Nairobi River Regeneration and Engineering Works program was launched in March 2025 at a cost of approximately 50 billion Kenya shillings. It aims to transform the 27-kilometer urban stretch of the river into a green and hospitable spine running across the metropolitan area. The program is being spearheaded by the Nairobi Rivers Commission, which was established by a Gazette notice in December 2022 and officially launched in February 2023. The commission has set January 2027 as the target for substantial completion. Key partners include the ministries of housing and environment, local water agencies such as Athi Water, and international financiers with on-ground execution by specialized contractors. For a project this ambitious, what matters is an achievable model and the means to execute it. In shaping its long-term vision, the project is inspired by global precedents such as the River Thames in London, which was once declared biologically dead, yet was restored through years of determined investment and environmental engineering. The Regeneration and Engineering Works program is built around three main pillars including sanitation, river restoration and urban regeneration. The sanitation infrastructure is the heart of the entire operation, designed to eliminate up to 90% of all pollution discharge points into the river. Engineers are constructing a monumental 54 kilometers of new main trunk sewer lines along the river corridor on both banks to intercept raw sewage before it reaches the water. That's enough new sewer capacity to serve more than 300,000 residents. At the same time, major upgrades are underway at key wastewater treatment facilities, including the Karyobangi Sewerage Treatment Plant, whose capacity will increase by 60,000 cubic meters per day, and once complete, the Karyobangi upgrade alone could cut untreated sewage discharge into the Nairobi River by more than half. Uh, controlling the solid waste uh, using the interceptor dams so that uh, we trap this waste and remove it from, from the river. The project also focuses on public amenities, community access and flood control. A continuous 27.2 km green corridor is being developed featuring pedestrian walkways and cycle lanes along the riparian zone to transform the riverbanks into usable public spaces. Over 40 new footbridges will be constructed to connect communities that were once divided by the river, and that will improve both access and social integration. Extensive dredging and riverbank stabilization works 
are also being carried out to manage flooding and protect nearby homes and businesses. On urban regeneration, the project includes the construction of tens of thousands of affordable housing units to safely resettle families currently living on unsafe or flood-prone riparian land. The project is also a major employment program as it is expected to create over 40,000 jobs across construction, waste management and river maintenance. In places like Korogocho, the impact is already being felt. Young people in green vests are clearing wastes and clogging drains and reclaiming spaces that were once dumping grounds. Through initiatives like the Climate Works programs, thousands of youths are being employed to clear solid waste and maintain drainage systems. The entire regeneration hinges on reclaiming the riparian reserve, which is the legally designated buffer zone next to the river. The government has designated the Nairobi River Corridor as a Special Planning Area or SPA, officially gazetted in March 2025. This legal tool covers the entire 60-meter riparian buffer and initiates a two-year process to co-develop an integrated development plan or IDP. Different Kenyan laws specify contradictory distances from 6 meters to 60 meters and this ambiguity is being exploited to contest the project's demarcation. Successfully navigating this complex legal and social landscape while ensuring humane resettlement and fair enforcement of the law is as critical to the project's success as the cleaning process itself. Regeneration program is a long-term and complex engineering intervention. The project showcases how major infrastructure development must be holistic in the sense of combining specialized engineering with social and environmental development. We have actually done a lot of tree seedlings that will eventually be planted into the, within the riparian and the areas to be reclaimed. We'll be providing progress updates diligently as the works continue. If you are enjoying our deep dives into the infrastructure that shapes Kenya, please hit the like button, share this video with your networks, and share your invaluable thoughts in the comments. Have yourself a wonderful day. Adios!